Guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the NFT frame. So we had that issue in the central land that we were not able to show off the NFTs properly inside the central land. And now with the art gallery competition, a new asset pack has been published. It's called gallery asset pack. And inside that asset pack, you have a lot of useful stuff. And then there is this one little item. It's called NFT picture frame. It's kind of hidden between all of the other objects, but it's quite important that little NFT picture frame. If you click on it, you'll paste it inside your scene. You can actually load almost any NFT inside that NFT picture frame. And in order to do so, you need to find your NFT on OpenSea. I hope everyone is familiar with OpenSea.io, a platform where you can review all of the NFTs in your wallet. And I actually have this NFT, which I created for a different purpose, but I'm going to use it as an example. Now you have to look at the URL. The URL has two components. You have the NFT ID here in the end. Normally it's much shorter. For this uh, particular free NFT mint on OpenSea, it's much longer because a lot of people have minted, minted NFTs for free. So let me use that real quick. Go back to the builder inside the scene. Here under NFT contract, I can paste it. And now I, oh no, hold on. This is supposed to be pasted here under NFT ID. And then I take the contract for that NFT. I copy it and I paste it under contract. All right. That's all correct. So now if I click on publish, And when I reload the scene, I should be able to see this NFT in my build. And for the most part, I think most people have figured this one out. But I think a couple of people who are not as technical might still struggle with the, uh, with the question on how to display your NFTs inside your scene. And we did have a possibility to display NFTs that were that were right here at the very bottom under collectibles. But the thing is, it didn't work really well. You couldn't click on it. You couldn't click through to OpenSea. And I believe it did not work with animated GIFs. And now with this new object, it's actually possible. It's very cool. If you're not familiar with it, you definitely have to check it out. It's hiding under gallery. So now let's... Uh, Reload the scene. Let me go into day mode again. And let's go have a look. So here it is. We actually have the NFT animated GIF showing up here. You know, it's exactly that same one. It doesn't look great, but it works for now. Now, this is another example of it where it works just fine. I think um, the fact that I'm using black is probably creating some issues. Maybe the conversion wasn't formatted right. I used a online tool to convert from my video to the GIF file. Maybe I haven't gotten the settings right. Uh, a normal animated GIF art piece seems to work wonderfully here. So. This is exactly the same object, so it normally works fine. For static object, it works perfectly fine. You have different kind of frames you can use. And yeah, I just really wanted to show you how this is done, so there is no confusion about this. Um, all right, I think this is it. Quick and dirty. I see you guys in the next one.